the scientific method. Objectives. Define the scientific method. Identify the steps of the scientific method. Describe the steps of the scientific method. Distinguish between independent and dependent variables. Distinguish between observation and conclusion. What is the scientific method? A student observed the reaction between sulfuric acid and iron which produced a gas. She wondered what can increase the rate of the gas being produced. The scientific method is a systematic approach to solve a problem. What are the steps of the scientific method? There are six major steps of the scientific method. First, question which is sometimes followed up by background information. The second step is hypothesis. Third, experiment. Fourth, observation and data. Five, analysis. Six, conclusion. And sometimes we also add communication. How do we formulate a question? A student observed the reaction between sulfuric acid and iron which produced a gas and the student wondered what can increase the speed at which the gas is being produced. The questions are formulated by making observations. For example, how can we increase the rate of a chemical reaction? How can we obtain background information about a question? In order to put together a plan to find the best way to answer your question, background information can be obtained from library and internet research. For example, researching factors that affect the rate of a reaction indicate that temperature, concentration, surface area, nature of reactants, and the presence or absence of a catalyst affect the rate of a reaction. What is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a proposed explanation or idea for something made from observation, which can be tested through study and experimentation. It is usually written using a predictive statement that is measurable. For example, it follows the format, if this is done, then this will occur. Example, if concentration is increased, then the rate of reaction will increase. A common misconception is mixing up hypothesis and theory. A theory provides an explanation of some aspect of the natural world based on a body of facts that has been repeatedly confirmed through observations and experiments. While a hypothesis is just a proposed explanation that has not been proven as yet. What is an experiment? Following the question how we can increase the rate of a reaction, we have created a hypothesis if concentration is increased, then the rate of reaction will increase. An experiment is conducted to test the hypothesis. It evaluates the relationship between the independent and dependent variables in the hypothesis. The independent variable is the factor manipulated or changed by the researcher. For example, in this case, it's concentration. The dependent variable changes in response to the independent variable. In this example, it is the rate of reaction. The constant variables are variables that must be held constant during the experiment. For example, the mass, volume, temperature, surface area, and the presence or absence of a catalyst. What is a sample of a procedure to conduct an experiment? The experimental procedure to answer the hypothesis, if concentration is increased, then the rate of reaction will increase. First, we will set up the apparatus as shown as in, in the diagram. Place 0.5 grams of iron in an Erlenmeyer flask. Use a measuring cylinder to add 50 centimeter cube of one molar sulfuric acid and replace the bung. Record the volume of gas collected every 20 seconds for two minutes. Repeat the experiment using 50 centimeter cube of two molar sulfuric acid, which is more concentrated, and finally, in each experiment, keep the temperature and the mass of iron the same. Step four, how can we perform observation to obtain data from experiments? 
Observation is the information gathered from the experiment. It is usually recorded in journal form. There are two types of observation, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative is gathered using the five senses, example, the production of a gas, while quantitative is gathered using instruments, example, 21.0 cm3 of gas was produced. How can we record data? Data is usually recorded in a data table. A title is included with each table. For example, Step 5. How can we display and analyze data? The data gathered may be plotted on a graph and analyzed for patterns or trends. A title is included with each graph. For example, the graph below shows the total volume of gas produced by reacting 1.0 molar and 2.0 molar sulfuric acid with 0.5 grams of iron. Analysis. The curve for the more concentrated acid, 2.0 molar sulfuric acid, has a steeper slope or gradient, which shows that this reaction is faster. Or, the more concentrated acid, 2.0 molar sulfuric acid, produced the larger volume of gas in the same time. Step 6. How can we write a conclusion to the experiment? Conclusions address the hypothesis of the experiment, either by supporting it or not. The format is the data supports the hypothesis that, or the data does not support the hypothesis that. For example, the hypothesis, if the concentration is increased, then the rate of reaction will increase. The conclusion, the data supports the hypothesis that increasing the concentration increases the rate of reaction. How can we communicate our findings? The results of the experiment can be shared with others via laboratory reports and peer-reviewed journals. In order for the conclusions made in an experiment to be generally accepted, the experiment must be repeated to validate the reliability of the data. How can we distinguish between independent and dependent variables? Answering the question how concentration affects the rate of a reaction, the hypothesis proposed was if the concentration is increased, then the rate of reaction will increase. The independent variable is the one that is manipulated or changed by the researcher and experiment. In this case, it is the concentration of the acid. The dependent variable, on the other hand, responds to the independent variable. In this example, it is the rate of reaction, the amount of gas produced. Common misconception is to mix up the independent and dependent variables in an experiment. However, Using DRYMIX dry mix, we can solve this. DRY, the dependent variable, responds and it is plotted on the y axis. DRY, dependent, respond, y axis. While MIX is the manipulated variable, is the independent variable and is plotted on the x axis. MIX manipulated independent x axis. How can we distinguish between observation and conclusion? Answering the question, what gas is produced when sulfuric acid reacts with iron? A hypothesis could be if a lighted wooden splint is placed in hydrogen gas, then a popping sound will be produced. From the observation made with the five senses and measuring instruments, we have the example, the gas produced a popping sound. The conclusion addresses the hypothesis and using the observation and data gathered. In this example, we can conclude that the data supports the hypothesis that hydrogen gas was produced. Here, the conclusion uses the observation 